Hi there, welcome to Data Science Tutorials and in today's video I want to show you some of the R Shiny related uh, usability related to how you can get to know the number of hits that your application is receiving. So sometimes it is important that we want to get in statistics about how many users are really using our application to know whether our application is popular or not and make some decisions about it. So here is a simple counter that we have created which shows the number of hits our application has got. So if I refresh my page, the hits will going to increase and it will be a persistent storage. So that means if I close this application and open it again, uh, the number will going to increment from 4 but not be reset to 1. So how we do that, uh, I'll just explain you in a minute. And uh, before that, if you are interested in some click view related tutorial so i do some blogging on the data and tools you can go to my another channel for click view dashboarding and reporting tool and uh, for videos on this channel on our tutorials and other data science tutorials you can subscribe to my channel all right so let's go ahead and uh, see the shiny user metrics how we can create it so if i go into the r so here I have the server code and within that I have this reactive function uh, which is giving an output as a counter and what we are doing is just rendering the text and what we have done is we are checking whether we have the file which is application usage dot r data to store the number of hits if not then we are storing the hits to zero otherwise we are loading the file app users dot r data and uh, incrementing the hit and saving the file so what it is doing is uh, when it is first time running the code uh, it will not it will basically incrementing the hit as it is mentioned to zero and uh, then saving it into the app usage and that's how it becomes the persistent storage so whenever uh, i stop let's say i stop it here and uh, run it again because of the persistent storage it, the hit will increase to 5 because if you saw uh, earlier it was 4 now it is 5 so it's a very simple code which you can create for your application which keeps giving you uh, the information about uh, the number of hits and uh, then finally we have gone ahead and shown it uh, in the main panel as text output using the counter as the object we created as an output object over here output dollar counter so that's a quick quote about uh, how you can get the user metrics related to your application uh, it's up to you whether you want to show it to the user or not generally we don't show it to the user uh, in our applications but uh, in the back end we keep getting the data into the R data or any other file uh, in which we are saving and uh, use it time to time to know how many info, how many hits we are basically receiving also there is a possibility that uh, you can extend it so generally uh, you may want to associate this information with a time and uh, you can do that by simply adding the uh, current date and time and uh, this related information which is of your interest and uh, save it over here as part of the object which we are creating over here as hits and you can have date and time and save it as a data frame so that's pretty much all i wanted to show you in this video and i'll meet you in the new video with a new topic